cauliflower here and I'm just going to chop it into chunks so it's down the center get rid of the leaves and then just chop it into to florets about so, so the stems are edible so I'm just going to slice the stems repeat with the other half and then we're ready to pop it in the pot so I've got all my cauliflower in the pot ready to go I'm just going to get in a can of coconut milk and yellow creamy bits as well and uh, a couple of handfuls of cashew nuts and I'm using unsalted so uh, we don't get too much salt in our mash so a bit more generous <laughs> So I'm just going to pop the lid on and bring that up to, to the boil. So the cauliflower or the liquid coconut milk started to, to boil away. So I'm just going to turn the heat down to kind of medium. Um, we'll leave the lid on and I'm just going to simmer for, until the cauliflower is soft. So it'll take about 20 minutes. So after 20 minutes, we'll just check and make sure our cauliflower is nice and tender. So it looks pretty translucent and when it cut through, we can see it cut cutting through really easily with the knife. So now you can either mash with a fork, uh, but I'm going to use my trusty stick blender because I, I prefer a kind of smoother puree. So it's just a matter of pureeing. And then we just going to taste in season and it's ready to serve. So if you enjoyed this video, I really encourage you to come on over and visit my blog. It's thestonesoup.com and if you sign up for email updates, you'll get a free e-cookbook filled with video recipes just like this one. So I hope to see you soon.